everyone. I hope you're doing well and happy Halloween to you all. Let's see here. I gotta fix this mess here. Um, so I'm doing Pisces reading now for the month of October through November. So if you have any Pisces placements in your chart, this reading is for you. Um, if there happens to be a cross watcher that stops by on this reading, maybe there's a message here for you. So happy Halloween, guys. I'm in a festive mood. Although I'm really tired right now, and this wig is very itchy. Um, makes me feel itchy and scratchy and all that stuff. Um, okay, Pisces, let's go over your overall energy. Your overall energy, Pisces, is getting this feeling of boredom, almost. Like, you are in a core cups type of mood what does that mean to me it's almost like you have all these cups in front of you you even have one being offered on the side here and you're not even seeing that offer and you're just looking at these three other cups there and you're like to yourself like guarded like damn if i do damn if i don't <laughs> that type of attitude you're almost like to yourself and i don't know i feel like you Feeling heavy about something, not feeling 100% up to game or up to par. It's almost like, I don't know what, you know, I have all this and it's right in front of me, but do I want any of it? And you're not even seeing what's on the side of you. So you're not really looking and you're keeping guarded to yourself, okay? That's the type of energy. Look at the card, all right? Then we have the Ten of Wands. And this is like feeling a burden. Maybe you're feeling a burden towards your job, maybe you're feeling a burden towards a relationship. I don't know, it's not really giving me, these readings have come out all general for some reason. They're not focusing all on cups and all on wands or, or on pentacles. It's really weird. They've been an overall general reading for most of the zodiac signs this time. So looking at this here, I'm seeing that you're burdened. You're, you know, 10 of wands is having or carrying a heavy load. Or feeling like there's a heavy load um but there's flowers on these sticks and stuff and yes it's an uphill battle almost like you're doing an uphill battle against yourself maybe it's against of of making a change or maybe it's because you're not seeing things clearly or maybe because whatever you want or need isn't there you know because i mean the mermaid is staring right at you but you don't even see her because all you do is looking at these cups and looking down and you're not really seeing what's happening towards the side of you, all right? We get the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow-moving energy. This is like the slowest-moving energy ever. I mean, like, his horse is stagnant. I mean, the horse is just there. I mean, stagnant, but it's an offer. It's an offer. It could be an offer of abundance. It could be an offer of love. It could be a new job offer. It could go either way. Um, Pentacles is a stability, so that's why it takes so long to come because it's a stable offer that's coming in. It doesn't come in rushing. Anything that comes rushing leaves rushing. So this is a person or a thing or a situation that's stable, and it's 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 evol it's evolving. It's moving along slowly, and maybe you're getting tired. Maybe that's why you're tired. Maybe you're tired of waiting for it to move the, you know, so slowly. Maybe you're tired of waiting for all this abundance to come because you feel like you're putting more and more work into it, but you don't see what's going on in the in the in the back ends of it all, okay? Then you have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is like a fiery passion and energy. There's something that's gonna light a fire under you. There's something that's gonna bring passion to you, and it's coming in. Whatever you whatever you need to ignite, or whatever passion you need to see things clearly and to see the fourth cup with the mermaid on the side of you, um, it's gonna happen. You're gonna get that passionate communication coming in some passion is something that's going to strike passion with input within you or something that comes in very passionate and, and gets moving okay eight of wands again this is a lot of communication a lot of passion and maybe fiery communication maybe passionate communication maybe uh, communication is going to bring you happiness stability okay then you have the page of swords and the page of swords is like cutting through all the info to get what you need. Cutting through all, all the fog to see what's in front of you. Okay? And getting out of this 
oh, I can't see what's happening, or I'm not happy, I have all this. There's another wonderful cup on the side there being brought to you, but you're not seeing it because you're stuck within yourself. You're stuck in thinking about things that are weighing you down. So you need to really, you know, stop feeling weighed down by whatever it is that you're putting all your energy into and realize that whatever you're looking for or wanting is going to come in and it's going to bring you happiness, okay? And there may be a little uphill work there may be some heaviness into what you're doing or how you're feeling but once you get out of this energy and this fiery passionate um communication comes in or this energy you're gonna feel much better you're gonna cut to the chase you're gonna you know go you know get the information you need and let go of what you don't and build again you're gonna build you're gonna build and you're gonna be happy and you're gonna you know, get the information you need to move forward, okay? So that you're not so bored, that you're not so tired of the things that are going on around you, so that you see what's, you know, coming up ahead. Because sometimes God, life does get, you know, stagnant at times, and it gets slow, and we're stuck and contemplating about, you know, into our own emotions and not really seeing what's going on around us and all the beauty and happiness that's happening around us, okay? Then you have the Queen of Wands. And this is an energy, a fiery energy. This is someone who is passionate. This is someone who is very sexual, very, um, can be very manipulative also at times, the Queen of Wands. But mostly she's very passionate about her things, very passionate about the way she's doing things and, and how she's moving forward. So it could be, it doesn't have a sexist card, but this could be someone coming along, you know, that brings up this fiery energy within you or a situation coming along that makes you feel passionate or something that happens that makes you feel passionate. Some message that comes in that makes you feel happy. And that with that happiness and that passion, you cut away all the negativity that's been around you or, or how you're feeling emotionally negatively, okay? And that's why you, you're not seeing everything for what it is at this moment, okay? But you're going to. You're going to see that there's a lot of happiness coming in. Whatever you're waiting for, it's a slow-moving energy, but it's going to get there. And that passionate message is going to come in and you're going to, you're going to get a lot of messages and you're going to be moving in the right direction and you're going to be... Cutting away what no longer serves you to move forward in a happy, passionate matter towards either someone, something, or something, or someone towards you, okay? Uh, for the fairy cards, you got having your strength, having the strength, leaning on your friends, leaning on yourself, leaning on your acquaintances, and knowing that you have the strength to get through whatever you need, okay? Um, there's got to be a choice. I mean, the road looks jury ahead of you it looks like it's a hard working road it looks like you're gonna have to climb mountains but you're gonna need to move forward and you got to move forward and make the choice to move forward and see things for what they are okay because sometimes we go through burdens so that we can see things clearly okay and then i see that in your future you're gonna have a lot of um there's gonna be some type of festivity some type of uh celebration maybe it's due to the choice you make or that you the, the choice to move forward in a more positive way even though there's a lot of there's a lot of um struggles right you move always in a positive way and when you move in a positive way you bring in this passion and energy towards you okay and and be open and receptive to, to what's around you you're not open and receptive you're closed in you're not really taking the time to see the beauty that it, there is around you and the offers. And sometimes we get bored sometimes of a situation, and that's another issue. So bring some passionate, fiery energy into it. If that's the case here, and that's why you don't see it for what it is. Bring some passionate, fiery energy into whatever you do, whether it be work, a relationship, a commitment, or whether it be just seeing that you have people offering their love there to you, but you're, you're, you're not looking at it. You're not because you're so stuck into your own head and getting out of your head and seeing the goodness and everything is going to ignite that fiery energy. And someone may be coming in into your whole energy field and bringing in that fire energy or and uh, something in, comes in that makes you more passionate, gives you that passion and that thrive, that happiness that you need to get out of this stuck phase, okay? So moving forward, there are going to be festivities, there is going to be connections, there is going to be meetups. So have fun, enjoy it, don't stay stuck in the energy up to yourself and open up to all the possibilities around you, okay? Even if it means you have to go a different route. All right, so Pisces, this is your um, overall general reading for 
October through November. I hope it resonated with you. Thanks for listening. Have a blessed month and a happy Halloween. Thanks. Bye-bye.